I have always mentioned that whenever you do not have any other hardware, then you can start creating educational videos with the help of your smartphone. It's a very good tool because it has very good quality camera, it can do screen recording, slide cast, a lot of things can be done with the help of your smartphone. But when it comes to editing, there is problem because there are very few editors and till now I have covered only one video editor that is suitable for the teachers. In this video, I am going to solve this problem as I am going to talk about one more video editor which is easy to use and have all the functionalities required for teachers. Actually, it has more functionalities. So if you are an experimental teacher, you can definitely do a lot of work in your video and make them learner centric. But here in this video, I am going to show you the basic editing functionalities of this video editor, which are generally required for a teacher. So what are you waiting for? Let's start. You can visit Play Store on your Android smartphone and search for Vlog ELF and then you will get this result. See this icon with blue color? Just click on it and then you need to install this application. As you can see, I have already installed this application. This is why it's asking me to open it. So I will simply click on this open and now the application is in front of us. Now, we can edit our videos with the help of this application, which is named as Vlog ELF. Although it's made for vloggers, but teachers can also use it. And this is what I'm going to demonstrate to you today. So first thing that we need to do, that merging multiple clips, that's one of our requirements. And that can be satisfied with the help of this editor easily let's see how it can happen so i'll click on this clip button and then we will see all the videos from our smartphone or pictures also because we can include the pictures now you can see what is there i have recorded few videos previously because i want to make them into one so how we generally do we record a intro clip we record a summary clip and then we record the middle part of the video that's the actual content video so this is what I have, what i have already done and here i believe this is the intro part of the video this is the main video and this is the outro part of the video this is what i believe i don't know rather it's true or not but because you will record it so you will know so I can see 12 second written here, 9 second written here. So this is how I have assumed that these are the start point and end, the at end point. Now you see I have three things here. So I will go to next. See once all the clips are added, you can see these clips here. If they are in the correct order, you can click on next or you can also change the order by simply dragging and dropping them here and there. So I will again put it at the end. At present, I can't preview it. So I'll simply click on next. And now you see the editor is loaded and we have all clips in front of us. So this is the first clip. You see, if you go ahead, then you will see this is the second clip. And finally, after the end of the second clip, there is going to be the third clip, which is this one. See, so now we have three clips in our editor. So you can edit all clips or any clip by simply clicking on it so when i click on this this clip is selected and now you can see these options which is down which is in the bottom of the screen are related to the clip if i don't select the click so i have to click outside and then you see clip is not selected and now the options are changed so now you get this part that when you want to edit a clip you have to click on the clip. So first part of teacher's requirement is complete when we want to merge multiple clips and make it into one video. So that is already there. Now let's remove, let's learn the second part that is removing the unwanted portion from the video. 
For that, I know during the intro I did not make any mistake. So I will just pass this clip. In the second video, there are definitely uh, some part that needs to be removed. Because what happens whenever we either click on a screen record or we click the button of the camera, we need to take the position or we need to open the application. So that part is definitely the wrong part and you don't want to keep it in your video. That is what happening here in the beginning. So that's a good thing because I can also see what how my video is actually looking. That is also a very good thing. So you see this is the wrong part. The actual part is when I started the uh, document. I started a presentation and from there only my presentation will start. So I can actually watch it. So I'll play this video to know from where I need to clip this clip. So I'll just go ahead and now I'll play this video to identify the portion that I don't want to keep in my video. So this is an introduction to Vlog ELM. Yes. See, from somewhere here I started talking. I'll play again. This is an introduction. Again, I will play it. So this is yes, see, from here I started talking. This is the part from where I started talking. So what I'll do now, I'll select this clip. And now I want to make a cut at this portion. For that, there is the first option you see split. Make sure that the clip is selected. Only then you will see this split option. If your clip is not selected right now, you see clip is not selected. So I am not seeing that option. So I'll click on it. Now clip is selected and I'll see this split option. And now I'll click on a split. But before that, as you can see, I have changed the location of the head. This is why I need to identify the correct location of the head again. So this is it. Yes, that's the correct position. And I'll click on split. By going here, I will now click on split. So as soon as I clicked on split, you see what happened. That particular clip is now divided into two clips. So first one is this and second one is this. You see, two clips are getting selected. First one is this one and second one is this one. From where we make the split. Now we know the first part of this clip is unwanted portion what I will do I will simply click on this clip it's selected you can see if it is unselected it will look like this if it is selected it will look like this and now from this option I'll press delete and this is how wrong portion of our video is removed and that is what we will repeat throughout the clip so let's go ahead and from here you can see I have marked that I want to keep this slide then I'll go ahead and I'll, I have marked this. I don't want this slide. See what is written here? Let's remove this slide. It is written here. So I will go to this portion, select this clip and then click on split. So that's the first option. I'll click on split. And then I will move ahead and from the view only I can identify that I have to remove this unwanted portion. But it may not happen with you that you can clearly identify which one is unwanted portion. So what you need to do, you need to listen to the clip. And from listening, you will identify the wrong portion and then you will cut it. So I will make a cut here and then I'll go ahead. And so what I did actually, I uh, recorded this presentation with blue and red slides and I have to remove all the red slides. So I will again select this and click on a split. And then I'll go ahead and up to end, I have to remove it. So now you see this red part is in a, another clip and I will select it and then I'll click on delete. Similarly, I will select this and delete it again. See now what happened? All the red part of the slide cast is gone. And finally, at the end, there is this. So you get this part that how we can remove unwanted portion. Till now we have covered two things, how to merge multiple clips and second, how to remove unwanted portion from the clip. Now let's see there is a big problem here. The problem is that the orientation of this video is not correct. It's coming in portrait mode while the content 
which is the slide is not meant to be presented in portrait mode but it's meant to be presented in landscape mode so that means the orientation of complete video should be landscape not portrait so because now i know it so i'll not select any clip because i have to change the orientation of entire video so from here i will see if there is an option to change the orientation and you see this is the option here i'll click on it and now it's asking me to select the correct ratio and correct orientation so i want to record my video at 16 by 9 ratio because i am making these videos for to watch on smartphones on televisions and all let us say monitors so i will select this 16 by 9 so by looking at this option you might have realized that if you want to make a videos let us say for instagram for facebook then also you can use this application when i click on 16 by 9 what happens immediately the orientation of the video change see previously it was like this and now you see it is like this see the canvas color is black so now our application is coming a video is coming like this let's now see the slide part how that is working and if we go to slide see it is coming like this which is not correct so the orientation of the video is now correct but the orientation of the slide is or the clip is still incorrect so i'll select this clip and after selecting this clip i will rotate it in order to rotate it i have to go to edit option and inside edit i can see the rotate option i'll click on rotate so it's rotated but you can see the canvas is bigger and the video is smaller so i will use the pinch to resize the video so that it's perfectly fit in the canvas so i will do this perfect so you see now the video is coming inside the canvas same thing i will repeat with another clip this one so i will again select this clip click on edit rotate it and then i will resize it like this. and one more thing that you cannot see right now that this application is giving me haptic feedback because whenever it's uh, fix fitting to the frame it's giving me the haptic feedback with the vibration so i know that my clip is now perfectly fit and same so now you see things are perfectly set now you know how to merge multiple clips you know how to remove unwanted portion and you also know how to change the orientation and resize a clip if required now let's go to the transition part because what is happening right now whenever we are going from talking head to screencast let me now play it you see what is happening so this see? Is there is a sudden transition but i want a better transition in order to apply transition you will see a plus icon see you can see this plus icon you can see a plus icon between two clips so you just need to click on this plus icon and it will load all the transition options now you see there are base transition options like fade flash move up move down something like this and there are other options also like mirror then there are effects then there are arrays and then random transitions you can select so rather than selecting random transition i will simply go to base just to check how it will look then i'll select fade and you see immediately it will also show you the demo of the transition so i'll select the transition and it's showing me the demo how it will look in the final video you can also increase or decrease the transition speed so right now it's first one second let's decrease it to 0.5 second like this and let's now see how it will look see it's rather sudden than the longer so i'll select one second only and now i'll go to some advanced transition and let's see how these are looking see mirror is something like this like this move down okay then there is scroll option like this then scroll up 
on this is anyway so it's going in random direction let's go to effect also and see the cross good then color option perfect and then there is burn uh, glitch see so these are good transitions so I will simply let us say select this one page color so it will look something like this that the pages now turn perfect now I will apply this transition or rather I will simply apply this particular transition to all the clips or all the joins so I will apply to all by clicking on this option and now the transition is applied to all the uh, clips and I, I will now click on OK. So you see when transition is applied the plus icon is now changed to the transition icon see you can see the transition icon and you can also preview it by simply uh, doing something like this. So see the transition is applied here as well because we selected apply to all so at one go we can apply transition to all the places. If you want to change the transition for example here I don't want that transition so I will click on it and then I will remove this transition by selecting this now the transition is removed. So this is how you can edit your video once your video is edited and there are many options uh, which can give a lot of value to your video you can explore them. I have just covered all the part that teachers generally need. One very important feature that I like about this application is setting up the cover of the video. See what happens when we make the video and we share over WhatsApp or others, uh, many other social media applications. What happens? The cover does not correct come correctly. So when sometimes the mouth is open like this or sometimes eyes are closed like this so the, that particular cover doesn't look good although the content inside your video is good so what you can do this application also provide you option to change the cover of your video so you click on this cover icon and then it will show you the complete video from where you can just select one of the frame to set as a cover image so I will just go to let us say I am going in the here and then I want to select this as the cover image of this video so I will save this means not by clicking here but simply by uh, going back you see now uh, the cover is changed so once everything is complete you can explore other options like audio picture in picture doodle watermark I will also talk about them in my coming video but the basic use of vlog elf for teachers is now complete after your video is edited simply click on this export icon so when I click on export you see it's asking you to select the resolution then simply select one of these two options which is 720 pixel or 480 pixel so I'll select 720 pixel and then you see exporting started it will take some time to export the video once the video is exported it is opening in a player or if this is a preview you can see it's you can see the vlog elf's icon as well as text is coming as a watermark in your video and that is coming because we did not opt it for any subscription in my opinion this is one of the best video editor for teachers because it is easy to use it has all basic functionalities and it allow you to export your videos with 720 pixel so this means teachers requirements can be fulfilled so you try it and you let me know your views about this video about this video editor in the comment of this video and also please let me know if there is any other video editor that you either want to purchase or you use and you find it useful so i will make a video on that as well so i'll see you in my next video now namaste